Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I will be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 10.3.3 on any iPhone 5, 5C, or iPad 4. Basically 32-bit devices that can run iOS 10 or iOS 10.3.3. So you do need a PC or a Mac if you do have one. Let's get straight into this tutorial and I you need to actually connect your device to the computer here. As you can see, I have mine connected here. But first of all, what you want to do is download Cydia Impactor. So all the links will be in the description below, so don't worry about that. Um, just go to CydiaImpactor.com and download whichever one uh, you need. So if you're on any Linux, then you download one of these Linux uh, links here. And if you're on a Mac, you download the this Mac here. And if you're on Windows like I am, then just click this. But I've already done that to save some time. And then jump onto this link right here. It's called helix.teamstar.net. Um, this will also be in the description below. And here is basically everything. Um, here's the installation process. I'll just be walking you guys through this. Um, so what you need to do is click get helix and it'll start downloading I threw all my stuff on the desktop so it'll be easier so you guys can see what you need to do so also don't forget to connect your device as I said previously but make sure you do have your device connected and trusted with iTunes okay so this should pop up right here your device which is mine an iPhone 5 and don't worry about this saying install Cydia in Extender. Um, this is what you need right here. And this is the Helix RC5 package that you have downloaded from the Helix link there. So what you need to do is just open up Cydia Impactor. Just right click and click open. Do not click open with administrator because you cannot drag and drop when you're on administrator mode. So just double click or right click and open on Cydia Impactor and this is the folder that you're going to need to put all your stuff in or maybe it's even prepackaged for you like this but um, yeah so don't here's the impactor do not separate it from everything else in here otherwise impactor will not work okay so now what you need to do is just drag and drop this right into Cydia Impactor and then put your iTunes email login here. So I'll just do that quickly right now. Okay, so now after putting in your Apple ID uh, username, uh, all you need to do is just put in your password here and I will do that and right now. Just click OK and it'll just uh, run through all of this stuff right here. Um, it'll say iOS and all of that stuff that it needs to prepackage onto your phone. And here I'll just uh, show you right here as it installs. Pre okay, verifying application, sandboxing the application. And there you go, Helix has now popped up on my device here. So just uh, couple, wait a couple seconds for this. Um, and if this doesn't go away in a couple seconds, that means that it is done and there is no errors to be seen. So you can just close out of Cydia Impactor here and everything else will be done on the device. Now, if you do click on this, you're not going to be able to open it just yet because you need to trust it inside of settings. Then go to general. And, and then, then scroll down, click on the developer app and you just need to trust it and then just click trust and now that it is trusted all I need to do is go into the helix application here and basically just click jailbreak so let it run the exploit patching the pmap and uh, thank you to Teamstar and Seguza for making this possible for iPhone 5, 5C and iPad 4 so let it run the UI cache, which means that it will um, just refresh the springboard. So you will see Cydia on the home screen there. And we just have to wait for it to respring. And Cydia should be up on the home screen. If it isn't, then we just got to do it again. Sometimes it may take a couple tries. And do, do uh, keep note that every seven days you need to re-sign the application um, as this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. 
So you need to run the Helix app every every once in a while after you turn off your device or reboot it. So let's swipe and here we do have Cydia right here successfully jailbroken. Let me try to focus it correctly right there. Okay. So as you can see Helix is here and Cydia is here. I'm just going to open it to show you guys that it actually does work. So let's uh, wait for the sources and I will just scroll down after we'll reloading data. <clears throat> so I'm just going to and then right here what you want to do is just click complete upgrade but I'm just going to ignore it for now until I reopen the Cydia application. So I'll just show you right here that it is indeed jailbroken on iOS 10.3.3 as you can see right there, it is jailbroken, 10.3.3, 32-bit Cydia, and 1.1.26 is the version of Cydia. So basically, that is it, and here's all the packages. Uh, just need to upgrade it, and that is basically Cydia on your iPhone 5 jailbroken. Thank you to everybody who contributed to this jailbreak. I uh, hope, you, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and do leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video, and share this for with anybody that may have an iPhone 5, 5C, or an iPad 4. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you.